I'm Van and you're watching the Kill Count, series where we count the kills in the good, the bad, and the ugly of horror. Today we're taking a look at 1986's Night of the Creeps. Night of the Creeps is about a group of kids trying to defeat evil alien slug creatures who come to Earth to destroy all humans. And they grab a hot date and an even hotter flamethrower, because it's time to watch people die. In a rock and flashback to the past, we see one fine young chap named Johnny venture off into the woods and unconsensually eat some alien space slug. And while his status remains unknown, his girlfriend should be screaming, oh no. In present day 1986, two guys, one of them really horny and desperate to get into a frat, head to a hospital to jack a body. But all they find is Johnny, who creepifies one of the docks. Oh my god. Oh hey, detective, they found the body. I mean, it isn't the one from the lab, and it's also horribly messed up, but come here, take a look at it. Inside the sorority house, the girls are all hanging out and doing their own thing, but when Couch Girl hears the doorknob jiggle, she goes to answer it, because it might be the cat. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Acorn. The crazy axe murderer from the start of the movie, who for some reason was buried with his weapon, comes back to life. Somehow, for some reason. <laughs> and after chopping his way up to the floor and rising from the grave, he chops into this old woman's face. <laughs> The Axeman doesn't get very far though, because not long after the police arrive, they've tracked him down to a dead end. And after revealing his rotten face to them, the detective blasts it off. After the janitor and one of the main guys die off screen by the evil slug things, we finally see another one shoot into someone's face. And this time from an undead good boy. When the undead dog causes a bus to crash off screen, we cut back later to see six have died and at least five reanimated. When Cynthia's ex shows up as a zombie, she walks him out to have a talk with him, because her apparently blind ass couldn't tell he was a zombie. But don't worry, Sin, before he can kill you, these two knuckleheads are gonna blast and ignite his ass. Now that Cynthia's armed, she and the simp take on the herd. Watch out, girls, this time it ain't no cat. Shoot the dead man now, detective. It's Miller time. Hell yeah, light up that horde of creeps. Think you can stop this detective from getting his off-screen kill? Why well, don't think so, zombie? After running into a shed for safety, Cynthia gets attacked by a zombie, and after the simp saved her by hammering its head in, she'd return the favor by lighting up his zombie. Alrighty, now let's get out of here and give him a haircut. Later, dude. And now to save the day, Detective thrills the audience and explodes the shit out of this room, killing himself and the slug aliens. In the end, a total of 23 people died in Night of the Creeps, and counting 16 others who either died off screen or became zombies off screen, that brings the grand total up to 39. Well, 40 actually. I forgot to count the detective who died as a zombie. The bronze kitchen knife for worst kill goes to the friend who died off screen. And finally, the golden frank for best kill goes to the detective, who blew up the house with all the aliens inside. Be sure to let us know your favorite kill down in the comments below, and while you're down there, if you've seen the movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you back here again with more dead people. Have a nice day.